Hello there, this is Kate. And I'd like to just um, extend and elaborate a little bit more about what Jesus, his meaning in rules for decisions, when he says to think about the day you want. So in chapter 30, the new beginning, rules for decisions. So I've gone through in a lot of detail the original uh, line by line. But I just thought um, there's a, been a few queries on when you think about the day you want. So I'm just going to read what Jesus says first. He says in, chap in uh, paragraph one, rules for decision. But think about the kind of day you want and tell yourself there is a way in which this very day can happen just like that. Think about the kind of day you want. Then over on to paragraph four. Throughout the day, at any time you think of it and have a quiet moment for reflection, tell yourself again the kind of day you want. Then he's got a semicolon. The feelings you would have. The things you want to happen to you. And the things you would experience. And say, if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. So there's two promises there in those two paragraphs. This is the exact day that we will have. So I'll elaborate a little bit more on how you're to do it, but I'll just um, first of all go into some of the queries. Some people think that if you're thinking about the day you want to have, it's taking you out of the now. Um, but actually, when you think of the kind of day you want and you're thinking about it, right then you are experiencing the happiness. Now it's called a happy day. So the kind of day you want is happiness. You want to be happy. So you would imagine the kind of day you want. You want to visualise yourself as happy. You want to see yourself. When you think about the kind of day you want, it's visualising it. Um, so right in that moment where you're visualising yourself happy, you right in that moment are getting the experience of the happiness because you're seeing yourself happy. So as you think about the day you want, you're in that moment, that now, experiencing the happiness. So he's getting us to link in. He's getting in the visualisation. We're actually having the happy day. We're seeing the images of happiness. So that's not taking you out of the now. And then what happens is that visualisation sets up for further moments of happiness because it, it takes your mind into... Um, every moment is then happy because you've set the day up, you visualised yourself um, happy, joyful, peaceful. So it doesn't take you out of the now. Um, so when you're um, visualising a happy day, um, say you're doing in bed first thing in the morning you're visualizing it you're getting that experience of happiness as you see yourself happy 
as you so um, that's happening now that's in the now and then when you get if you uh, are going to work and you see everyone happy you see yourself um, getting along with your co-workers responding with happiness responding with kindness responding with caring um, seeing everything as a call for love and just blessing and loving and caring and kind then that's the day you see and in that moment you're experiencing and then when you get to work it's already set up because you've already it's like um projection but it's actually um works in um for a happy day um some people also think that this is similar to the secret uh, where you get something this is not about visualizing getting a new car um, this is not about visualizing uh, getting anything um, this is about he doesn't say visualize the things you want to get <laughs> Okay, this is what he actually tells us in more detail. He says, the feelings you would have. Now, what feelings would I want? I'd want to be feel, I want to feel love. I want to feel loved. I want to express love. I want to give love because that's how I receive it. I want to give. Um, I want to bless. I want to join in laughter so I'm going to see myself. Laughing with people. Um, open-heartedly joining and blessing and have a have a heart full of open-hearted love like soft tender joyful giving sweet kind all those beautiful words so we're going to visualize the feeling so i'm going to have this feeling of being in this love bubble with everyone i meet <laughs> um, the things you want to happen to you. Um, uh, I think what he's asking us here is he, he's asking us to imagine people um, responding to us with love. So um, the things that happen to, to happen would be ease and grace. So um, I think I've shared before, you know, I visualised, I haven't yet gone to the dentist, but I visualised going there and everything just happening smoothly, just everything effort, effortless and easy and happy and loving. Um, everyone just, no one having a problem with anything, just an effortless day, seeing my day being, the things that happen to me, uh, things that like everything goes well so um, the ego thinks it has problems and it tries to go forward and um, you know it's always like oh well if, if I go to work today and they say that to me then I'm going to say this to them so this brings in I'm going to see my co-workers or I'm going to see my family or my husband or wife. I'm going to see them blessing me, loving me, smiling at me. I'm going to see me smiling and blessing at them. So it's like um, the day you want is a happy day and God's will for us is perfect happiness. So Jesus is asking us to step into this. There's no need to have one ounce of fear or unhappiness in our day. We, there's no, there's nothing in our lives that um, should cause us any unhappiness. We can extend love. We can be filled up with love. We can see the call for love. So the things that happen with us, happen to us, is um, is seeing. I like to see people blessing me, smiling at me. If I go out for a coffee, I like to see the barista just smiling and making me a coffee. The other day I was visualising all that and, and she said, oh, I love your little sweater that you've got on. And <laughs> it's, 
it was really nice. Um, it was joyful. It's like a joyful joining. The world, the world becomes, um, the world is coming from our minds. And this is the way we get the happy day. We see it. We find it. We find the happiness. We find the joy. And people respond to our joy. And the things you would like, and the things you would experience. So this experience, it's not about um, I want to experience, um, you know, driving in a Ferrari or something like that. It's not about getting getting anything because that would be really foreign. Um, this idea that you need to be in a certain car to experience happiness. This happiness is beyond anything material. It's not about having the materiality. It's really rising your mind above the world in terms of if the focus is on the happy dream, my interactions with everyone is joyful. Here I are just, you know, if I, I went uh, yesterday to take my dad to another doctor's appointment, I just visualised me turning up, just hugging him, kissing him, joyful. Yesterday when I arrived, he showed me through a couple of, uh, he had a couple of um, picture books there, some beautiful pictures from Outback Australia. And he said, I'd like to show you these. And so we looked at them. He wanted to share something with me. And I said, oh, they're beautiful, Dad. So it's just not about resisting. It's just about just seeing everything as joyful, as happy. Everyone happy, you happy. And, I'm, and that, that's the word. That's the key word here. Jesus has said how to have a happy day. And he says, you will have this exact day. So the secret um, and um, manifesting is about manifesting something that I think I don't have now. Um, that would be you know, whatever you want to visualise and think you don't have. So if you think you're going to be happy with a new car, you can manifest that and our minds are powerful but that's not going to bring true happiness. Um, it's really, it's not about, um, it's not about making the day go the way you want. Um, it's not about saying, I'm going to see my mother and she's usually mean to me, so I'm going to make her change. What we see, we see is, um, that was the case for me. I would see myself going to my mum's and maybe taking something for her, something that she might like, some flowers or some little card. I like to take something wherever I go, something, and just you know, just write a nice card and just, just bless her and tell her how much you appreciate her, how much you love her. How much gratitude you have. Jesus says our only response to our brother is, is appreciation. <laughs> so let's just appreciate. So see yourself going to your mum's. If you're say you're going to your mum's and you you have this um, past, uh, the ego past that keeps coming into the present. So this is what this visualisation is about. It's about removing this past conditioned egoic mind that pushes the past into the present. It ruins the present because the present is where the happy dream is, where the eternal now of God's beautiful mind that we can be in and live in. And it is a beautiful song. It's a song of prayer and it's witnessing the true Christ innocent, guiltless, sinless brothers everywhere we go and appreciating and seeing the holiness. So these are the things that we need to um, really feel into. It's not really specific. I think um, 
you can if you're going to your mother's you can see yourself in the kitchen giving her a hug kissing her saying mum I really love you I really appreciate you thank you for everything you've done for me and then do something for her giving giving is receiving give without wanting to get see all these things see yourself doing this feel this love and as you visualize it you're going to be filled with this most beautiful love this love when this love comes through that just wants nothing but to give and give and give and give give all to have all just give all your love away give everything away just give and this is what we want to visualize giving ourselves happiness see ourselves joyful running dancing laughing singing joyful just being with love dancing playing if you play a musical instrument see yourself playing and joyful and blessing going everywhere and laughing and looking at people and smiling and saying oh thank you <laughs> you want to get into this beautiful god's love bubble <laughs> so just it's about you have everything you have everything you, you just have everything and if something is needed the Holy Spirit will go forward and bring it forward to you some way you just need to trust that but just see you working for God God I am the love in the world and I'm just going to do this I'm going to bless everyone and love everyone from your beautiful love I'm going to extend it and then um, if I make no decisions by myself, this is the exact day, and I have done this for many years, and these are the exact days I have. Visualise, visualise it every, visualise it every day, and just bless, love. So thank you. This is, um, it's wonderful to be helpful, and I, uh, you are helpful. We're all helpful. We must remember that we all play our part in God's plan for salvation. We all go home together. No one goes ahead and no one goes behind. We all join hands and we go equally together. We cannot leave one brother behind. We all go equally and then we all play our part. Each teacher of God has their own students and their own other minds to help we have to accept um, the Holy Spirit's correction and then be the love and help others awaken to this love and that's our only purpose is to be love so thank you and I love you and I bless you and I honor you and thank you for listening Bye-bye.